Hello and welcome to our introduction about artifact synchronization between ECU test and test guide. With continuous delivery of new software, we face the challenge of how to distribute it. Especially with test infrastructure off-site and in the cloud, you want to keep the updates small and reduce the risk of distributing obsolete artifacts. For now, ECU test supports only local and network drive references but they often lack structure and proper access control. In our vision, we would like to enable you to deploy your software and artifacts to a central test guide depository. There you can manage the artifacts and annotate all necessary metadata. When the test execution is started, ECU test only needs a slim workspace containing the test cases and configurations. The artifacts are referenced in test guide and are retrieved from the depository when they are needed. The reference can be static or based on filters on the metadata. For example, filtering and always selecting the latest result can even reduce updates of the already slim workspace to a minimum. With ECU test 2022.4, we made the first step towards this vision. From now on, you can configure multiple depositories and reference A2L and HEX files from these. The files are downloaded during the configuration start if needed. Now let's have a look at it. First of all, this is my test guide project. And in test guide, I can have a look at the artifact management and see the list of depositories. In this case, there are three configured depositories, and in this example, we want to deal with the sandbox depository. On the artifact side, I can filter on the depository. For example, select the sandbox and get an overview of all the artifacts that are stored in there. As you can see, there are hacks files, A2L files, and cache files in here. In ECU test, I currently have a set of configurations and in my test configuration, I've got a control unit configured and it uses a local file path to reference an A2L file. This one I want to replace with a test guide reference. Therefore, I first have to upload the A2L file to test guide. This can be done here. Upload artifact. by selecting the right depository, and I could also add attributes for later filtering. But I will keep it simple in this example, and I'll just click Upload. After updating the filter, I can see that my A2L file is now within the depository. In ECU test, I have to configure the access to the depository, which can be done in the Settings menu. There's a new list element here, test guide artifacts, where I can configure one or multiple test guide depositories using server address, port, and so on. The way you know it from the test guide configuration with the additional depository ID. So here I referenced the sandbox depository from test guide and called it A2L store. As soon as I've got such a depository configured, I can select it from this dropdown. So I can select A2L store, and as I do so, the text field is not editable anymore. And I can use this test guide browse button to remotely browse the depository. And in here I can see, as this is an A2L configuration field, it only shows the A2L files. I can see my A2L file as well as the other A2L files within the depository. In case there are a lot of A2L files in there, we can use a simple name filter in here. After selecting the A2L file, I see the file name here. I can store the configuration and start it. And during this startup process, the A2L file is downloaded from test guide using the credentials that are stored in the settings and ECU test proceeds with the A2L file as you know it from the local A2L file. 
So I've got the calibration in the measurement tab on top here, as usual, and I can just select one label in here. Read it, execute it, and on the package summary we also get the information that the A2L file that we used is called my A2L file and is coming from the A2L store depository within Test Guide. That should be it for this short introduction. I hope you find this introduction useful and give the functionality a try. Feel free to get in touch with us about our vision. We are always interested in feedback and look forward to getting input from you on how to best proceed to support your use cases. Bye.